This video is going to show you how to thread a Singer 24-7 commercial chain stitch sewing machine. You got a couple key points here where the thread's going to go through. You got your main loop, which it's going to come from the back to the front. You've got a, a U-shaped or a Y-shaped uh, thread guide here and your tension, your thread tension. There's plates with spring loaded with a little screw below it and I'll show you all these key parts when I'm actually threading it. Then in the front you've got a thread guide and then a hole through the needle bar on the front. Another tension which is similar to the bobbin winder thread guides on the 201's, 1591's, 66's there's actually a spring-loaded plate inside here which gives a little tension against the nose plate. And then of course our needle. Now on the lower part of the plate I've seen on other machines there's a thread guide. I don't see anything on this. This plate did was altered at one time with something so I don't know if someone put a guide on here or if a guide's missing. If there's a guide you just go through it. Simple enough. You can also go in through the hole on the end. Either way you're coming through your loop from the right side or back side forward. Now we're going to zoom in. So you can see this a little better. You can see how it dips down and it's actually separated. So you bring your thread over the first portion and then behind your your thread tension. Now underneath this screw if you see it it's got a little guide through it. This is important and the screw has to be there because you're going to come up over that screw, go back through your tensioning plates and then, oops, and then up in the middle and now forward. So that's through the first uh, thread tension. Next is a real simple clip in guide and then through the needle, needle bar from the right to left. The way this provides tension is coming around the back side and then the needle, I got one of the little cheaters, the needle threads left to right. So I'll go in my little loop. So we're going through from the left to right and then you want to go through the foot, there's a slot in it, and just bring your thread out to the right side. So you're going, let's see if I can zoom in. We're going down through the groove in the foot and then passing under the foot and then to the right. And then when you start it, you hold your, your thread and wind it clockwise or, or rotating the balance wheel towards the back. And there you can see we've got our stitch going. And there you have it. Hopefully that helps you. 
Oops, and my thread came off. And then we're back into place. And there you see, there you have it. Got our little equal stitch. Or symmetrical, I should say. Symmetrical stitch. Okay? Hope that helps you.